today, today, see what I did there? Welcome to the show! Dang. I was talking to you, and then to you. Welcome wow, to the it's show. so good to be back. You are back. I've been just training. I thought maybe I was cut for good. No, you made the cut. You always make the cut. You're more like the, um, you got like elevated to like GM. You know, you're like, oh no, you know, like, you had a Hall of Fame career. You know, come on up to the front office. I don't want to. I don't want to take me I'll back. I'll still. I'm still blocking take, and tackling. Take me back. Come let me back in the show. He's a lot of football analogies. We do. We love football around here. We are back, and today, Nurse Living Good in the house. We are going to be breaking down how to turn your breakfast and your coffee three ways to make it into a fat burning meal and the one mistake to avoid and then a new coffee challenge coming out yeah soon what's up like it's been so long since we've talked <laughs> to them in front of each other i know i missed you all i missed you all i didn't really miss you because i got to watch you still every you miss wednesday and friday <laughs> and i still get to see you every other Good day and wendy what's up in oregon Good morning, Nancy. Good to see the nurse. <laughs> I agree. Every day I say it. I don't know. You maybe y'all didn't miss me, but I missed you. That's okay. Ruth, you get me anyway. Ruth and Nancy both in Minnesota. You're all stomping grounds up there. I was there for a short time. You went to school in Minnesota. I did. Well, Speaking don't up, confuse people because sometimes when we throw out those vines, they'll be like, "No, wait. She told us she went to." School at Iowa State. Like, I mean, I, I just really tra I was a traveling nursing school student. <laughs> <laughs> that was before nursing school up in Minnesota. Well, right. how do we help out? Are they? I mean, I, I. You can't do that. Oh man, just Instagram. Yeah. Why are they muted? What's going on over there? Huh? What are they doing? What's wrong? You talk to them. I'll figure okay, this out I'll for a second. Okay, I'll talk to y'all. I'll talk to y'all about. Minnesota, I got nothing without you, babe. Is it back? Insta? Let me know if it's back now. We'll see if that worked. You what? What were you saying? I, don't, I said I got nothing without you. Someone's drinking their DLG coffee over there. I can only read half of the comments. They're like all cut off over there. But let me come over here. <laughs> yes. Oh, someone's Thanks, like, talk to Bridget, me about decaf. Welcome to talk to me. <laughs> Okay, they can hear us. Let's keep moving. Whew, I don't have to keep <laughs> delay. So today, breaking this down, we got some new coffee recipes. No. Well, this could be very new to you. It's been a while since we <laughs> talked about these, and but we got a new coffee recipe guide for you, and you will get the chance to also win an entire. Can I show them this already? What? Can I this thing? Just look at this. Oh. In a couple of weeks, you might get delivered one of these. <laughs> And inside one of these is a bunch of paper. <laughs> and then... Where's the thing? Where's the, where's the, where's the thing? In the, in the, right here. 12 bags of coffee coming at Yeha. It's the great you coffee consider, giveaway. Do you get their 12 bags a year supply for you? No. It's a month supply for the... No. That's 500 cups of coffee or, or more, depending on how strong you do it. But we're giving away a whole bunch of the coffee. <laughs> Big box, hopefully coming to you. So there's a link posted up there. Coach, pop that in there to start it off. Okay, we're gonna dive into the recipes in a second to turn breakfast into a meal. Three big things and a lot of research I'm gonna go through. She's gonna give you the goods and how to make them. Very handy, very convenient ways to switch your morning and start your morning right. So with that, we're beginning today the great coffee giveaway. And so what that means is you can enter, anyone can just an email in to win a year supply or 12 bags, however long that lasts you, of coffee. <laughs> You're gonna get the coffee recipe guide for the recipes we're gonna talk about today. We're going hot today, and then we'll be covering some cold recipes in the near future. And I'm gonna be doing training in two weeks. It is the start your day right training that I'm gonna break down, and we are going to put together a twist to the next challenge to take the coffee challenge. What's the, oh, coffee, what challenge? Is the coffee challenge? We're gonna get this going viral on TikTok. 
coffee challenge. The again? coffee challenge. I'll hold it there, and that's coming in a few weeks. I'm gonna do a training on it on the 22nd. So when you register, you'll register for that training. You'll get the guide. You'll get entered into the giveaway. All the goodies right there. Oh, look at this, nurse. I was on my A game today. I even got him a little. Here it is. Just nice. enter the email. Boom. You get the registration. You get the training, the giveaway. You're gonna get early bird access to the spring sale with Living Good Daily, an exclusive deals and a surprise new release coming very soon you're going to be the first to know and when you land on this page you're going to have the ability to download the coffee guide right on the thank you page just boom boom you can get it right now and then you're going to get one entry into the coffee giveaway you got that early bird access you got those coffee deals and surprise new release and then the start your day right coffee challenge is a coming i'm going to be doing a training on it in a couple weeks so don't worry there's nothing released yet those details are right here, right on the thank you page. So real simple, email, you can enter text, it's optional, that way you get text if you win, and then it pops right there. So, some fun, right out of the gates today. Coffee month, basically, is going on. I love this, we made it because of my dad, and we got two new twists or, or things to feature coming out, and okay, there's the coffee. I do have one other big announcement I have to make at some point during this show, but let's give them a little coffee stuff. You're gonna stuff. make us wait. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta make some coffee and then maybe I'll talk. You need, <laughs> you need coffee in order to talk. So, so for I love the DLG coffee. Do you? Yes. Is that why it's called DLG coffee? Well, this is the our organic coffee in Moringa. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I like to add a few things to it, and so. Do you want me to give them the preface preface of the angle I was going for is, every, you know, a lot of you might love coffee, okay? If you don't love caffeinated coffee, stay tuned soon. And, or, and then starting your morning right, this is a very easy way to substitute out what you're eating and then what you drink, but it matters what you put in it. So first thing, first key, to turn the morning meal into a fat burning machine is what you put in it. Now, a lot of people are going to go for creamer. Are we starting there? No. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah, you know, I'm just saying like, I, I was thinking about, okay, what do we want to put in the coffee? Well, number one out of the gates with the creamer, you got to make sure whatever's done to the cow is ending up in your coffee. So that means from a perspective of hormones, antibiotics, that's all going in the cup where we're not even considering it or well, a lot of times, like, it, I, I, I'm not a big fan of, like, the old one percenter they put in there. I'm like, you could you have asked me what the, oh, man, now I'm in the airport and I'm stuck with that. Like, what do I, it's not that you never run into it, but this is at home. How do we make sure we get nutrients in? So that's option one. And then all these other options have now popped up, right? Now we're talking soy. Well, maybe that's the option. And you're looking at hormone impact, very genetically modified. So that's a problem. So that one, for, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> it's very, it's extremely processed and talk. It's just at the end of it, it's all toxified. Then we go oats. So you get oat milk. The problem there is if there is so much glyphosate yeah. in oat milk, because coming from the oats, if it's not uh, non-GMO, and even if it is, it's got to be organic. Otherwise, glyphosate's ending up on there, and so many of them use rancid oils. Yep. That's going to make you gain weight and congest your cells, which is going to either going to increase your insulin or increase your inflammation, right? That's a problem, both of those. You can still get a clean oat milk at home, but depending on- You make on, your own. But depending on, well, and if there's a couple that don't have bad oils and that are organic, so you know that they don't have glyphosate. However, you're still spiking your insulin. Then we go almond. The problem is a lot of it is just water. It contains t traditionally more sugar in almond milk. And then you've got to watch out for bad oils. You've got to watch out for additives. Now, it's not that there isn't good ones out there and that we haven't used them, but you've got to be very specific when reading the ingredient labels. So again, this starts to be not easy, right? For this thing, like average person, where do I start, Dr. Living Good? That starts to become complicated. Then finally, there's coconut. And now in the can is fine, but some people like, freak out the first time they open a can of coconut. They're like, I think mine's bad because it's all hard, right? Or Can't you're not be, used yeah. to it. 
and that doesn't taste as good going into coffee. You could get a cartoned one. Again, got to make sure no added sugars, no added oils. You got to watch those additives. So there are good options or there are options within those four. Oftentimes, <laughs> if you have to choose though a milk, you'll personally choose a grass-fed organic, just cream. Or would you, Dr. Dr. Lemon, would you like your coffee black with cream? <laughs> This is the question I asked you the other day. Would you like your black coffee black with cream? I'm like, um, n um, that wouldn't be black, babe. That would be, <laughs> that would be with cream. Just not, just black coffee. I was so, never ever. You can have it black, right? But here's what we're trying to do: is we're trying to substitute a meal. So simple solution. In nearly every household, you can do this with the first ingredient that has the creaminess that follows along for a creamer. We don't often think of it. But it's butter. Butter. What? My cholesterol's already climbing just with you talking about that. They've actually found <laughs> that that's not the case at all. And organic, you know, grass-fed butter, very solid. You're gonna put just just a you know, what do you call that? A, not a stick, but a um, pod. A little um, a tablespoon. tablespoon. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Into the coffee. So nurse living good. Is literally putting this in an empty cup. Will you show them the empty cup? Now, with the pod, you froze these, right? I did. So I'm going butter, and then I want to go coconut oil. The combination of those two gets you very close to a bland cream. Mm -hmm. Already gives you that frothiness. Gives, gives you, that... yeah, rich, creamy. So you made these. Tell me, tell me about, tell us about the pods. I just melted butter, a little bit of coconut oil, sea salt. That was... And then I poured it into a ice cream. She wrote tray. the book, Make Food Simple. <laughs> I mean, it's the it's an oh Amazon God, bestseller for a reason. <laughs> Make food oh, simple. I personally didn't measure either because I just poured how many ice cubes I had melted butter. So now in the morning, you take this out. You've got you've got butter, you've got coconut oil, you've got sea salt. I mostly little, do butter. Little bit of sea salt just for that, that little bit of flavor, and you're gonna get some electrolyte help there. Because again, you're substituting breakfast. You want to keep your electrolyte levels up. So just a touch. And we're literally just pouring. I wish we could here. Maybe I can go. Can you go to the downspout here? What's that mean? Pour it in. Pour it in here? Yeah, I want them to see it. Okay. <laughs> like that's melting almost instant. Okay, that's option one for just you like straight up, you need an option, little hand blender. There you go. Yep, then it's all gone. So pot makes it very easy and convenient to do the butter and do the coconut oil in the mornings. Just boom. Show there them how go. cute that is in there. It's frothy on top. Look at that. Can you see that? It's yep. frothy on top. It's smooth. Why butter? Butter's high in butyric acid. Okay, butyric acid, short chain uh, fatty acid. It's important because it has the capacity to improve your fat storing hormone resistance. Fat storing hormone resistance, which is a condition that underlies weight gain. Okay, so butyric acid in butter helps to protect that. When the fat storing hormone levels are high, you can't lose weight. And in the presence of fat storing hormones, because the hormone, it's the one that protects and instructs your body to hold on to fat. Therefore, that anything that lowers the fat storing hormone or helps improve fat storing hormone resistance will help you lose weight. And butter with butyric acid does exactly that. Now, the other thing, it has the potential to reduce inflammation in the body. Butyric acid does too. Organic grass-fed butter being the source. So we've got the frothiness. We've got a little coconut oil in there, a little salt. I, a lot of you like the sweetener side of things, right? Not just straight up cream. So we're gonna kind of transition into syrups before we go there i would just take this and then we would go collagen 
where you could just pop a little bit of that in, you get more creaminess. With my collagen, you get a multivitamin, you get glucomannan, which helps with insulin levels, you get milk thistle, which helps the liver. So now we're helping fatty liver, controlling insulin levels, supporting them, and there's monk fruit in there, organic monk, monk fruit with no erythritol. So now that went in, that's your creamer. Those of you that like different flavors. So we've got chocolate, we've got vanilla, seasonally we do pumpkin spice, or there's an unflavored as well. So in the blender is how this usually rolls, but there's the DLG coffee. In, you can pop it in the blender, makes it really easy for either of those. That as breakfast. That's where we're going with the challenge, the new twist to the challenge coming up soon. Now, what do we put on top of this is the second thing I want to talk about. Add to your coffee and get more out of your coffee. So in that cup right there, we've now got healthy, <clears throat> healthy fats, butyric acid, burning up fats, coconut oil, supporting the brain. We've got glucomannan, we've got a multivitamin, we've got milk thistle, we've got collagen protein. You can see how this is like a meal in the morning, already happening just in your normal cup of coffee. My coffee is organic with Moringa. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But on top, my favorite, cinnamon. Now, if you do Cellion cinnamon, it's gonna thin out your blood a little bit more, helps support healthy blood pressure levels, and helps support insulin levels, put you in fat burning mode. So both of those help lower your blood sugar levels, especially after a meal or around the meal. But when you wake up, you're in fasting mode. You put this in your body, you're not technically breaking your fast because it's dirty fasting. If you're a hardcore water faster, I get it. You haven't had a meal yet. And then you're putting cinnamon in to help that out even more. It can also help suppress your appetite. So you're like, wow, if I only had that in the morning, Dr. Livingett, I would be hungry. Put a little bit of cinnamon on top. Plus you got the butyric acid and the coconut oil. You're getting a little bit of a filling. I don't know, put in the comments if you've done this. Has it helped you get over even having to think about breakfast convenience wise and sustain you till late morning or noon. Now maybe you throw in some electrolytes mid morning cause you're, you're kind of getting some cravings that helps, but I can usually make it till noon. I'll usually go all day on this. Some greens, some electrolytes makes meals very simple. Okay. Nothing to add. You good? <laughs> Me? Yes. Were you waiting for me? Yes. Well, <laughs> it's like the dead air interview. Like, anchor, second anchor. <laughs> You're. We'll be right back after this commercial. Usually, usually, <laughs> usually you get it thrown to you by like a look or. A... Amanda stays full longer, right? Yes, they said. And listen, I get mushroom coffee. It's just instant coffee, right? So, here, okay, instant coffee. I like mine with collagen instead of mushrooms. Why? More filling, protein, amino acids. Right, and it tastes really good. So that's the other thing. I know it's kind of a craze right now, but most of it is is instant coffee with some mushrooms added to it. Right. right. Ours is coffee with moringa added to it, or coffee with collagen added to it as a creamer. Yes, sustaining you. Yes, every day. Lots of people using it to sustain it. So that simple recipe, whether you want, I like to blend it. But if you're on the go and you needed to use one of those pods, just pop it in quick. You could probably. Oh, what have you ever tried this? Put the collagen in the pot and freeze the whole thing. You could do it, but I never have. I've done the cinnamon and everything, so then I just have to do do do. Put the so the the point is the pod recipe is in there. I was just that I, it became like more of a lazy thing. I'd have to go get a scoop of the butter, then I'd have to get a scoop of the coconut oil, then I'd have to get the cinnamon, then I'd have to get the sea salt. For me, it became like I got twelve kids. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pop one in. So put whatever you want in the pod, freeze it, pull well, it out of the freezer and... And then you can store them in the fridge though so that they do melt a little faster. Nice, nice tip. That's, I, I thought that was brilliant. I'm like, wow, that would speed up the morning. You make seven of those for the week and you just, they're not going to go bad. No. But I wonder, I would love to see the collagen put right in it. Maybe we could do that for next week's show to see how it works. A little experiment. Okay. I'll do it. Anything okay. for you, Dr. Livingood. <laughs> so that's what's in the coffee. And on top of it, now, 
We also want to talk. Some of I'm you just thirsty too. Okay. <laughs> some of you like syrups. You like the syrup. Uh, I used to. Just a little bit. Oh man, dumped it all over. I used to love syrup. That's where I started liking coffee from. Was from like a caramel something latte ish. So I decided to come up with a syrup. So this one is a. Actually, I did a caramel vanilla. On the guide, there's a caramel and a vanilla. I mixed them. I did a caramel vanilla syrup today. So on the guide that you can download, so you can register for it, okay? For those of you joining in, here it is right here. Simple registration. You're gonna enter to win a year's supply of the Coffee Plus Moringa, or 12 bags of it. Enter your email. You're gonna enter and get access to the live training happening on March 22nd, Start Your Day Right Training. Coffee giveaway, early bird of the access to the spring sale. Exclusive release and exclusive deals on the coffee coming up. And then right after you register, boom, you'll land on this page. You're going to get the full recipe guide right at the top. It's downloadable right there. The free coffee recipe guide. This is what she's referring to. It has the pods and now it has the syrup right on there. So how do you make this? Oh, a can of coconut milk on the stove. And then I did four tablespoons of coconut sugar for this one. I have a couple different caramel recipes out there that are very simple, two or three ingredients, but this one I did coconut milk, coconut sugar, and then I added vanilla extract and sea salt. That's all. Got it. And then I, you warm it up, obviously, simmer it for like 10 minutes-ish, whatever the recipe says. And then I store it in the fridge, but this one has not been stored long because I made it this morning, so that's why it's a little more runny. But it's like a shot of creamer right into your look at that it's so pretty isn't that so pretty doesn't that look so yummy mm -hmm. can I try it yeah you can right after you I would maybe add a little more if you like it stronger mm -hmm. the sweetness I also add, I don't know if you saw me go back here I warmed up some milk as well you don't need it but to make it more of like a little latte I warmed up a little cream um, and put it in there too to see if it would give me that latte feel and it does so yum i love the flavorings that are just light and simple like that and you can keep a lot of the sugar out of the system so then you're not sabotaging morning breakfast which is going to set you backwards when you're trying to hit weight loss goals so you're already incorporating in lots of healthy nutritious food healthy fats proteins multivitamin if you're using the, the collagen you're avoiding the syrups and you can make your own if you need a little kick there. And we got cinnamon on top to get some superfoods in. And then speaking of superfoods, how do we make coffee even better? Well, that's what I've thought of when we put together the Living Good Daily Coffee. You can grab one of the bags out of there. So this was the most genius thing I think you've maybe ever done. I mean, you do a lot of genius things, but this was one of them. Well, I knew, I'm like, I want to make our own coffee, but I want to get more out of coffee because I drink it a lot. Because it's such, it's also such a health food. People don't realize, people think coffee has some bad stuff to it, but it's a health food. It's a, it's the most researched food on the planet. And if you do it right, it's a, it's a great health food, but it can come with a lot of, what they do is they clear the field so there's no trees and they grow it and they're trying to mass produce it. And then there's no trees for the birds to perch to keep the insects away. So then you got to spray it. So then it ends up, they, and then they, they run the soil into the ground. So that you're, you're not having the nutrients. You're not heavy in the antioxidants. And then you have to spray it with a bunch of pesticides. So first step was find organic. And second step was to find um, an area of the world that has great soil. So we found and went to Ethiopia, which has some of the best. And then how do we get more out of it was the next question. And that was from a fermentation process of leaving and allowing the shell outside of the bean to ferment brings out more of the antioxidants, the nutrients, prebiotics, probiotics involved with the coffee. So fermented coffee. And then I didn't stop there. We're figuring out, okay, what's, if I were to pick like one of the top foods in the world, most nutritious foods in the world, which one would I pick? And we landed on the miracle tree, Moringa, mm -hmm. Moringa. It is one of the most nutrient dense plants ever discovered. 
It's got more magnesium than kale, more vitamin C than oranges, more potassium than bananas, more iron than spinach, and more calcium than milk. It's incredible. And it's one of the most powerful antioxidants. In fact, they did a study, I was doing some research, um, digging into it yesterday, and it contains 92 nutrients, 46 natural antioxidants, and it showed that it may help support blood sugar levels. But the study that I was going through yesterday was um, like looking at the total polyphenol and antioxidant capacities, like how much is in Moringa to help anti-aging and support the weight loss, support cholesterol levels. So there was, they, they looked at 28 different like leafies, like, you know, iceberg lettuce and kales and spinaches and like 28 different ones, right? And they looked at the uh, total carotenoids and the flavonoids and all of these excellent antioxidants, chlorophylls, chlorophylls, smells more like borophyll. And they, de they determined in the samples highest in the antioxidant count and the highest ones was Moringa. And just by adding it, you could increase your antioxidants content by up to six times greater than some of the other, you know, just forms of, of leafy greens. And so I figured out a way through a lot of tech and research of how do we get it on whole bean or ground coffee. And that's the Living Daily Coffee plus Moringa. So the point being of this whole show is how do you get more out of coffee? It's what you put in it, it's what you put on it, and it's how it's made up. And when you do that, you can transform breakfast with a drink. It's not to say that you can never eat breakfast, but a lot of us eat a lot of sugary things, carbohydrates, rancid oils, and chemicals for breakfast. Fruity pebbles and a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Like, you know, like <laughs> that's what I grew up on, right? Not the coffee part, but... So how do we transform that breakfast? Well, that's a big part of starting your day right, in fat burning mode, with a clear mind, not bogged down to toxicities, not getting tired before you even get to lunch, and put a bunch of nutrients in to set the tone for the day, so even if you mess everything else up, that's the whole theme of what's going on this month. I'm just committed to, if I can help you change your morning, you change your day. If you can change your day, I can help you start changing your weeks. So if you can change your week, I can get you to have a good month. And then if we can string together some months, we're going to have some good years. We're going to have some good years. And it all starts with a good morning. So this was step one in that with some coffee recipes, some nutrients in there. Are you just laughing? I'm like, what do you, how do you get this stuff? No, I'm used to it. Do you want the wild card? Yeah, I do want the wild card. The wild card. Squeeze some lemon in. Into what? The coffee. No. Yes. What? People do this all the time in tea. You can do it in coffee. And I know there's some of you out there that put some lemon in there. You need a little extra kick, a detox in the liver. You want some extra antioxidants and polyphenols. You want some extra nutrient going in? A little bit of lemon somewhere in there. Now, if you don't want to do it in your coffee, do it in your water. Lemon this is the wild card. latte is coming next. Yes. Polyphenols, <laughs> suppressed body weight gain and body fat accumulation by increasing the receptors and the enzymes in the liver and in the white adipose tissue, fat tissue. Wild That's card, crazy. the wild card. What goes in it? You can transform breakfast with one cup of coffee or two or three like me. And you can win in an entire 12 bags of it. 500 cups on the living goods. What's crazy too is if you go to, I won't name any, Places, but if you go to your local coffee store down the on the corner, not only could the coffee probably be toxic, the milk substitutes or milk be toxic, the syrups be toxic, but the cups and plastics that you drink out of are one of the most toxic things when you put a hot substance through it. So like the whole thing is toxic, and then you just feel gut rot all day. Yep. But caramel Start lemon lattes, right. no gut rot here. <laughs> So the recipe guide will equip you to be able to do that. So you're going to right here. You've got your registration. Enter your email on the very next th page. Thank you, Paige. You're going to get the downloadable recipe guide. You're going to get an entry into the coffee giveaway that happens in a few weeks. Early bird access to the spring sale. That'll be coming up in a few weeks. Exclusive coffee deals and surprise new release coming up in a couple of weeks. 
And you're gonna get the Start Your Day Right Challenge with yours truly, March 22nd. We're gonna get that day right. So you can register right there. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to help people start their day right. We're gonna begin this challenge in the month of April. So we're just prepping right now. We're just learning, we're just discovering, right? And the special discounts and the special offers on coffee will be coming soon, okay? So those of you are like, how do I get my hands on some of that? I'm like, well, I'm not telling you just like not get it, but in a couple of weeks during the <laughs> training and during it, we'll have some very special like packages and ways that you can enjoy maybe a fresh start for spring, for starting your day right. And so that's coming soon. Special announcement. And a cute little story on the back if oh, you wanna read while your dad. coffee's brewing. That's right. Where it all came from. What's the announcement? Magnesium uh, is back. That's a big one. I got the word. <laughs> well, I was working out this morning and they're like, we're good. Go for it. You can announce it on the show. Seven forms of magnesium and one. It is sold out two times already in the last four or five months. It's back. So I wanted to make that announcement. As soon as I got the info, I promised you I would. Vessel and vein support was back on as well. That one, you know, a lot of people suffering with risks of clots or calcification in the arteries. They wanted some extra support for those organs, those parts of the body. But the seven in one magnesium is back. Coaches, if you want to post that up in the vessel and vein, you can jump over there and check that out. Uh, more to come on that. But I wanted to let you know right away and we'll uh, be sending out some announcements on it. So. Good stuff. Thanks for joining us in the kitchen. So good to have Nurse Living Good make an appearance. <laughs> and the coffee recipe. Go grab it. Go, the recipe guide is out. You can register. And I hope you win in several weeks. Make some pods. And very soon we'll be starting our days right. In a couple weeks. Two weeks from today. I'll be doing that training for you. And really diving in. Uh, of sort of a challenge. A twist on our normal challenges that we have. Starting in April. So... That training coming soon. Good? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys. Go make it a great day. Might as well. Never going to get it back.